hello collective welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always please remember to like comment or subscribe share the content do whatever your spirit is guiding you to do if you are just being guided to watch go ahead and do just that you are appreciated let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here also i am sending you all lots of love joy peace happiness and many many blessings to you and your families as always stay blessed so we have a queen of cups out here okay so you could be focusing on your passion at the moment you're being advised to take action there is some type of victory that is coming towards you in regards to your working forward movement a decision has been made to bring balance into a situation that is going to propel you into your future someone in here however has a legal issue that they are having to do with this could be a queen of swords that was working with a group to interfere with someone's work interfere with some type of victory people are absolutely upset with the fact that you are victorious over them this is because people assume that there was power in numbers but this is not what it is turning out to be you are showing up as a queen of cups Meaning you are someone loving, kind, genuine, compassionate, intuitive. You are focused on your life, your dreams, your forward movement. You have a brand new passionate beginning coming in work, new opportunities for you. You are taking charge of your life. Whatever this is that is meant for you, it is certainly going to make its way to you. There will be no more interferences. You are grabbing life by the horn, the bull by the horn and moving on forward you're not letting anyone interfere with your forward movement anymore you are standing your ground against someone or a group of people and they are fighting amongst themselves they expected this fight to be an easy one people expected you to just roll over but it looks like that's not what you are doing you are standing your ground you're taking charge you are the magician you are in charge of your path the universe is supporting you is protecting you is guiding you so whatever you choose to do, you are absolutely going to be moving forward. There is some type of opportunity that you will receive. It will require a lot of work on your... Oh, Lord, the Ace of Pentacles. It's going to require a lot of work on your part, but you will be successful in it. You're going to be extremely abundant because you're going to nurture this opportunity that is meant for you. People were working behind the scenes. This is why we had the five of once at the bottom at uh first right previously i'm sorry i lost my uh, word there there's a reason why we had the five of one this means that people are absolutely upset that you are receiving this opportunity they've been working over time to block your forward movement but they're realizing that every effort they put in to end you Ten of swords at the bottom to end you is not happening. You are still receiving this ace of pentacles because it is meant for you. So all of their efforts went in vain. Someone in here is an absolute pushover. They were supposed to do something, bring justice into a situation, but was easily manipulated to do wrong. Someone partnered up with the wrong person to cause you some type of ending. I don't know if they didn't realize they were being manipulated, but it looks like that's what was going on. And they made the wrong judgment call in the past. And now balance is being burned in this situation. I wouldn't be surprised if someone tried to befriend you. If someone tried to apologize to you. Absolutely. This has to do with your finances, your fulfillment in life. You are going to be having wish fulfillment. See this? You are absolutely focused on work. Your work is going to lead to wish fulfillment for you. Whatever you've been working on, it is absolutely protected. Someone was trying to block your work. Someone was trying to block you from receiving an opportunity. People were working over time. Absolutely over time. There's someone, a queen of cups from your past that may want to come in to celebrate with you. I wouldn't entertain that. Do not entertain this. This is someone that was collaborating with these people. This could have been like one of the head of this karmic group that was working to take you down. And because they lost, 
this person may want to now come in to celebrate with you do not do it this is someone you had genuine friendship with in the past a genuine connection whether it was this was love or some type of platonic relationship you were absolutely genuine with this person you showed them compassion genuine you were very share you share with this person whether this was in emotions resources whatever it was you were bountiful you were very giving to this person and it was genuine you are someone that gives without expecting anything in return and maybe someone didn't realize that and they took that for granted and this has been brought to their attention now or they are remembering you and so now they want to come in to reunite some type of friendship with you it is an illusion do not entertain this person move forward anyone from your past do not entertain them they don't have any genuine motives for you okay every last one of them were in collaboration to end you and to prevent you from receiving an opportunity okay someone has been working extremely hard behind the scenes to block you to cause you chaos to get you out of character someone has been taking rash actions behind the scenes to get you out of character but through it all you have remained calm because this is your natural state of being people have been misre misrepresenting you and the picture they have been painting is not sticking. So things are being reconsidered. Okay? It's that you are someone hardworking, courageous, calm. You have a lot of strength and it is baffling people. It's that people did not expect you to be this strong. They thought they, that you were just a little tweak they were going to break. But it's not going according to plan. Your dreams will be fulfilled. You are being advised to go. Oh, I told you fulfillment. You're going to have victory. Absolutely victory. Your pathway is clear. You defeated your enemies is what I'm hearing. You defeated your adversaries. You have many of them. Friends, families, enemies, frenemies co-workers, strangers, people you don't even know were up against you because of dishonesty. Someone lied. Someone was greedy, malicious. Someone is very, very, uh, uh, very much of a hedonistic. They're overindulged. They're greedy. They wanted what was yours, and this is why they gather up a whole clan to go up against you. And I don't think some of these people even knew what they were partaking in. They thought they were doing the right thing, but they're finding out they were on the wrong side. Someone is being seen for who they are. Someone is being seen as manipulative. Someone that likes to control people. Someone that likes to mislead. Someone uses magic behind the scenes to get things to go in their favor. Someone misuses their gifts or their power. I'm not really getting that they have gifts. They more so manipulate. Someone does not have spiritual gifts. They manipulate so well that it comes across as them having spiritual gifts, but they don't have any of it. Someone is dry when it comes to to uh, being spiritually gifted. They are empty. They don't have any gifts. They've never had any gifts. So they manipulate people. And then they came across you and they lost their mind because they knew immediately that you were the truth. You were the true magician. You have a balance of spirituality and physicality. You're in control of your own path. The universe supports you. You don't have to manipulate people or in a situation to get anything to go in your favor. You simply have to make a request to the universe and things go in your favor. And it pisses this person off because they don't have any of those access. Source does not F with someone, but source Fs with you. So you are being advised to take action it's going to lead to celebration for you you will be successful the truth is being seen you are the queen of swords and this is the energy you are being advised in to stay in when it comes to 
these people, you may be having to appear in court and you are being advised to stay in your queen of source energy. This is what these people deserve. Someone want, may want to play on your emotions, get you out of your head, get you, you know, kind of uh, conflicted, having second guessing yourself and things like that. You are being advised to stay in your queen of source energy. Cut it out. Lay down the law and stick to it. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. If you do not want to F with these people, do not F with any of them. Do not confuse their their uh, 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 misleading personas to lead you to believe that they are genuine. These people are not genuine. These are greedy people. Be in that queen of source energy when it comes to these people. If you have to show up in court, this is how you need to show up. Queen of Swords, say what you have to say and leave it at that. You're not there for, for friendship, courtesy. You're not there for any of that. You are there to get what is yours. And you will be getting what is yours. Someone could be working really hard behind the scenes to speak on your behalf. To make sure that your voice is heard. And, you're, and you will be able to put an end to this chapter. It's been a long journey for a lot of you. And you don't even realize it. A battle has been going on for some of you for years. And you don't know it. And it's just now being brought to your attention. But you have been being protected by source the entire time. Your ancestors. And now is the end of the battle. This is when you have to physically show up. So the truth can be exposed finally. Everything can be finalized. Okay? And someone did not expect for things to go this way. I told you someone is advocating for you in behind the scenes. There is a king of wands here. King of swords. Oh, landing on below the queen of swords here. So the courts, someone in the court is advocating for you. And you may not know that someone is wanting to bring balance, bring justice into your life. There's a king of wands in here that may have been doing some type of magic behind the scenes. Someone who have been throwing energy towards you. Or this is what they're doing now to get things to go in their favor. But it will not. You have to be genuine. It's what he's being told. You have to be genuine if they want to celebrate with you. It's a lot of masculine energies in here. Heavy masculine energies. There could be a king of wands and a king of swords that are battling or going up against one another. Someone wants to advocate for you. And someone else wants to rush in and come talk to you. Someone is fixing what wrong they did against you. Someone may have partnered up with a queen of swords in the past to cause you an ending. And they are now fixing stuff. You and this king of swords are showing up here in the same energy. This means that you two are a match. So maybe you two are supposed to work together. I'm not sure what the specifics are on that. But just know that someone is advocating for you. Something is righting what they're wrong in the past. This could be someone in law, like a private investigator. Right? Your ancestors, I just heard, have touched someone to fix something, to do the right thing. Yeah. They are advocating for you, Queen of Wands. You're showing up as the Queen of Wands. You've been fighting a battle by yourself because people have been being bribed behind the scenes not to assist you. But someone is refusing the bribery and is choosing to support you to bring balance into this situation. Because absolutely, how is it fair for 300 people, 100 people, an, a company of people to be going up against one person? Mind you, they still didn't win. So far, because you're still here and the Most High is watching over you. But let's use logic for a second. How can 300 people go up against one person and feel good about themselves? That means that there's something here about finances. These people are trying to steal something from you. 
that they cannot have, they will not be allowed to have. This has to do with money. This is why people did all of this. This Ace of Pentacles out here. This is a huge gift from the Most High. And this is what people have been blocking you from receiving. Absolutely. But you are a warrior. You stood your ground. You are standing your ground. You're showing up in a lot of amazing energies. You initially started off as the Queen of Cups. You took on that Queen of Swords energy. You pulled out your swords. You said, absolutely not. I'm not to be played with. I'm not the one, two, three, or anything else. Afterwards, after that. And now you are showing up in your Queen of Wands energy because you are standing your ground. Not only is this person, whoever this is, is advocating for you. You are advocating for yourself. You're standing up for yourself. Absolutely, like you're supposed to. You have fulfillment coming in. There's a whole family that's been going up against you. There's a couple in this collaboration that has been going up against you. They're going through some type of demise. But you have a brand new passionate life coming ahead, coming to you extremely fast. Be mindful as well is what I just heard. Someone may want to come in and cause you an illusion. Someone wants forgiveness from you, but for the wrong reason. The wrong reasons is what I just heard. There's ulterior motive, but you're about to be getting into some type of relationship. There's a couple here that work over time to interfere with your life. They've been doing this for a long time. They've been manipulating people behind the scenes. They've been manipulating people behind the scenes. Fake love. Pretending to care about you. They don't care about you. Pretending to have your best interest at heart. They don't. These are foolish people. Foolish. Someone wants to come in and give you some type of disingenuine love offer because you have an ace of pentacles coming to you. You have your name attached to an ace of pentacles. So someone wants to come in and gaslight the heck out of you. Make you think that they are genuinely interested in you. They are not. This is a foolish love offer they want to give you. It's not genuine. And they are going to be blocked out of your energy because spirit knows the intentions of this person. That's an immature love offer from a Knight of Cups. Are you kidding me? Stay in positivity. You have good news coming in. You have absolutely good news coming in that's going to help you have some type of fresh start in life. You won't be out in the cold anymore. You're coming out of seclusion. You're coming out of the hermit mode. You've been in hermit for a long time. While all of this chaos has been going on, you've been in hermit. Improving yourself, healing, going within, finding the answers that you need. And now you are stepping out boldly as the fool, taking on life. Not letting anyone or anything hold you back. You're stepping out on faith. Beautiful. Confident. Bold. Inspiring. Genuine. Lively. These are all things people were trying to take from you, by the way. Trying to take you, your identity away. There could be something here about identity theft with the fact that that word even came out. Someone wanted to be you so bad, they may have forged your identity. Okay, we have a king. Okay, we have a king of cups out here. I'm telling you. Okay, temperance energy, illusions, walking away. God dang it. <laughs> Absolutely a hot mess. There's a King of Cups here. You started off here as the Queen of Cups, which means you had a calling with this person. They did something reckless in the past. And there was divine interference, intervention immediately. 
So this person may have lost their soul contract with you. This could be someone you may have been with in the past. So this could be a past lover or someone new that you had a contract with, but they partnered up with a group of thugs, karmics, whatever we want to call them, to cause some type of illusion, and they are fed up. Someone is just like, oh, I'm done. I can't do it anymore. I'm done. And they're walking away. Walking away. Someone wants to have some type of success with you because they know you are someone abundant. They may want to come in, propose to you, something like that. I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. But someone is interested in you after they've done a lot of destruction behind the scenes. Now they want to come in. Now they know you're a soul twin. You're their uh, twin flame. Now they know they love you. Now they know you're a queen of cups. Now they're genuinely interested in you because you have this ace of pentacles coming in. Because now spirit has sat there behind now. They've lost a lot of resources, opportunities, and things like that. Now they know who you are. I don't think spirit is going to let this person in your energy. This king of cups, someone messed up really bad. Someone messed up really bad. If you do have victory with a King of Cups, it's going to be someone new. You're going to be connecting with a higher level soulmate. There's a King of Cups from your past that missed their opportunity with you. And you are going to be reconnecting with a higher level soulmate that has a lot of opportunities to give you. Or you're going to have a lot of opportunities based on your connection with this person. This person is going through healing right now. And they are going through healing in order to have success with you is what I'm hearing. But that King of Cups from your past, whether you dated them or just had some type of interaction with them, it's a no-go. This is a brand new passionate soulmate. Someone is going to understand you on a spiritual level. You two will be healing each other, working together, teamwork equal give and take and this is something that is divinely orchestrated by the universe they want you to know they personally had things go the way they did for this very reason everything these people thought they were blocking you from was an illusion it was never meant for you you've always been meant for something better so they were doing you a favor everything every action these people took was meant to help you ascend. Them believing that they blocked you from opportunities was an illusion the entire time. People were being tested by the universe. So they didn't steal anything from you. What you have coming in for you is going to be 10 times better than what they thought they were blocking you from. They were doing you a favor. Someone help you, help prevent you from getting into a relationship with someone extremely karmic, someone unhealed. You may have even met this masculine and you saw that they were good looking. You hope that you will have a brand new passionate beginning with them, but spirit reveals something to you about that person and you say, oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. This is what my people do in our country when we want nothing to do with you or something. We wash our hands off of you. Uh-uh. You said absolutely not. I am healed. I am not about to be spending my time to heal someone else. So Spirit said, thank you for letting us know. Now we know that you are ready for something better. You are ready for what we have for you. Because you rejected a connection with someone karmic and you didn't know the entire time you were being tested yourself. Your ancestors were sitting back just watching you. Let's see if she learned her lesson. Let's see if she's going to make the right decision. Let's see if he learned his lesson. Let's see if he's going to make the right decision. And you did, unbeknown to you. 
So now you have a Ace of Pentacles coming in, a higher level soulmate that's going to uh, resonate with you. You won't have to worry about feeling strange or weird about how you are or anything like that. They're going to understand you. They will encourage you to be you. They're going to bring the best out of you. Absolutely. You were being tested. They were being tested. You passed your test and they failed their test. Those people, your past karmic uh, 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 soul twin failed his test. You passed with flying color, colors. You may have met this person and you were kind to them. You were genuine to them. You extended a genuine friendship to them. And they took it for granted because they had people in their ears telling them nonsense, feeding them toxicity. And they said, oh, no. But the whole time they were being tested to see if they will go within and let spirit guide them to the truth or do what spirit was guiding them to do, which was to advocate for you. Stand beside you. You were presented to someone in a light that they were not expecting. It's that like someone prayed for you to have you. They met you, but you did not arrive in the type of packaging that they expected or wanted you to, so they rejected you. And then after you were gone and the truth came out and this person realized that they missed you, that they had you in the palm of their hands, it's all hell break loose for them. Someone is in depression right now. Someone is mourning your loss. It's not that you're dead, you're here. But they know they'll never have an opportunity with you again. This is what's going on. You have a brand new passion and beginning with a higher level soulmate showing up here as a king of cups. That is of temperance energy. This is someone divinely guided by spirit. And he's abundant. Not just physically, but spiritually. And he's willing to heal with you, do the work with you. So that he can have success with you. You two are stepping out on faith. You're coming out of the cold. You two have had similar experiences with one uh, uh, with people from your past. People betraying you. People stealing from you. People leaving you out in the cold. People rejecting you. And through all of those experiences, you still choose to see things from a brighter side. Not let life hold you down. Stepping out on fix, taking chance, Calcul taking calculated risk in life, not letting life beat you down. And people were doing this over and over and over and over. And they were saying, it would do it so many times. Eventually, he's going to fall. It would do it so many times. Eventually, she's going to fall. She's going to give up. But you didn't. And now you are stepping into a brand new life. People are about to envy the both of you. They're going to hate you, envy you, want to be you, wanting to reach out, just wanting to have some type of connection with you, but they won't be able to. Honey, let's get back into this reading. I'm preaching too much. Lord, have mercy. Someone feels entitled to what is yours. And this is why they've been working over time. Someone thinks that they can block this new union is not going to happen. Someone is about to lose everything for interfering with a union. Absolutely not. Spirit is not having it. Someone has fallen from grace, lost their protection because of actions they took against you and you did nothing to them. Someone failed a test. Someone failed a test and now they're upset. There's nothing you can do about that. You got to take your karma. You got to eat your humble pie. But someone, someone is, is, someone is so stubborn. There's someone in here now because they know they don't have a chance with you anymore. They want to destroy your forward movement. It's like if I can't have you, no one can have you. You, if you won't talk to me, you can't talk to no one. If you won't work with me. You cannot work with anyone. You cannot move forward. You cannot be abundant. This is not God. 
So every action someone is taking against you is just leading to an ending for them. A worse ending. It's like every action they take is making things worse for them. Okay? Someone thinks they can defeat you. They don't even realize they already lost the battle. It's what I just heard. How can you de defeat someone you already lost to? Lovers. I'm telling you. Lovers. Absolutely not. <laughs> Someone is having a lot of lustful emotions for you. A lot of lustful. It's like someone... Someone may be doing inappropriate things to your pictures. If you have social media, your videos and things like that. Someone is daydreaming about you. All they see is you day and night. It's like everything they see in life is reminding you of them. Because it's that I had her, I had him in the palm of my hands, and now I'm done. So they feel stupid walking around. Someone wants to come in and gaslight you. Someone is very lustful. I keep getting that. They're very lustful. My goodness. Someone thinks they can still defeat you. It's like they think there's a masculine energy in here that thinks that when he... That excuse me he thinks he can come in gaslight you into getting into some type of superficial relationship with him he's going to romance you very well and you'll get hooked on him and be stuck on him and then he's going to start mistreating you in some way shape or form and you're going to lose your confidence you're going to be codependent on them because this is the type of environment this masculine thrives in. This is someone unhealed. I don't know if it's this king of wands, this king of swords, whoever it is. Someone in here wants to come in and gaslight you, basically ruin your life. But they're being kept out of your energy. You may have even told spirit to keep this person out of your energy. Or your ancestors are just not fooling with this person. They're not fooling. Then I said there was a king of swords and a king of and a queen of swords working together. They've been working together to cause illusions behind the scenes. Fighting. <laughs> Chaos. These people are fighting. There could be a couple that's fighting now. There's a couple fighting. Dang. It's that they wanted you living in chaos and now they're living in chaos. They're fighting because the truth is being revealed. You still have opportunities coming your way. Your pathway is still clear. What you have ahead of you is way better than what these people thought they were blocking you from. And they are pissed off. There's a whole group fighting behind the scenes and you are out here getting yourself a good night's sleep. Taking your spiritual baths. Taking care of yourself. Relaxing. Educating yourself. Higher education. I just heard that. So while these people are fighting, you are relaxed. And it's not that everything is perfect in your life. But you have that peace within you that surpasses all other understanding. People don't understand why you are so peaceful. That's because the most high is in control of the situation. Your ancestors have already moved on your behalf. These people don't even realize that they already lost. And this is how karmics are. They don't know when they've lost a battle. They don't know when they've lost a war. And so they will keep going. They will keep fighting. Now realizing that they're fighting against themselves. Meanwhile, we're sitting back, minding our business that we've always had. Drinking our juice, eating our rice. We eat rice from where I'm from. Eating fufu, jollof rice. 
and they are losing their noggins, lo going bunkers. Are they together yet? Did she get what's hers yet? Or did he get what his, his was his yet? Are they together? What are they doing? Are they communicating? We have to block them from communicating. Block their text messages. Watch the email. Monitor the email. Make sure they don't get this message. Idiots. Idiots. Immature. I bet you, I guarantee you, most of these people are older than you are. Most of these people have children. Some of these people are grandparents. And they don't have a lick of sense in their mind to think, oh, I probably shouldn't be doing this. There are consequences. But these are people that don't believe in consequences. These types of people don't believe in karma. They think they can just do whatever they want and there will be no consequences. But that's not how this goes. And they're finding that out. Someone is afraid of you. They see you as supernatural. You are... <laughs> That the high priestess came out. You definitely are supernatural. You are in connection with the source of all that is and will ever be. You are part of all that is and will ever be. You are supernatural. As soon as I said supernatural, my beautiful high priestess fell out. So you are stepping out in Confidence because you know how this story is going to end. You are being seen as a true high priestess. You are the true. There's someone in here that has been pretending to be you, honey. The representatives have been exposed. And the true high priestess is standing up. Will the real high priestess please stand up and put one of those fingers on each hand up? This is where we are right now. I'm slim shitty as yes, I'm the real shitty. All you other slim shitties are just imitating. So with the real slim shitty, please stand up and put one of those fingers on each hand up. Hi, Priestess. I'm loving your vibe. You are passing the vibe check. You understood the assignment. I love how High Priestesses move. Because no one ever knows what you know. And we just sit back and watch you karmics. Karmic. We will sit back and watch you karmic for as long as you want. Thinking we don't know what you're doing, what you're up to, only for you to find out. My baby girl, my baby boy, we knew. But we already know Source is taking care of it. It's been taken care of. Okay, you are supernatural. People are seeing you as a true high priestess. And someone wanted to expose you as a fake high priestess, but you are not. Someone wanted to steal your gifts, even though they said you were not a true high priestess. You know someone is trying to steal from you. People know someone is trying to steal from you. Someone wants to be you. They want to have your gifts, your abilities, your nurturing nature, your all-knowing nature. Actually, I'm going to take that back. High priestesses are not all-knowing. We are wise-knowing. We are wise-knowing. And someone wanted to steal you from you. There is a high priestess in here as well, not the fake one. There's a true one in here that is speaking the truth about a situation to someone. Letting them know all of the actions these karmic people were taking behind the scenes against a queen of cups energy. There is also a high priestess in here that is manipulative, cunning, malicious. She's exposed. She may not even be a high priestess. This is someone that pretends to be a high priestess. Someone does not know anything about you. This is an outsider looking into your life. Don't know a lick about you, but is pretending and telling lies. You're a king, queen of pentacles. You're focused on your family, friend, your wife, material. 
You're not paying attention to these people and their nonsense, their shenanigans, people refusing to grow up and mature. You're not paying attention to that. You have better things to worry about. Absolutely. Yes, honey. <laughs> You're sailing on the calmer waters. Someone that wanted to steal from you, darling, is on the run. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. You're a monster. I'm not the monster here. You are. You and the rest of those fairy tale creatures. Poisoning my perfect world. Laura Farquaad, you're being sat down. That's from Shrek, by the way. I don't watch a lot of movies, but there's one movie I've watched repeatedly to the point where I know other lines in that movie. Absolutely. Lord Fakwa is being sat down and he's on the run. This could be actually a woman as well that is on the run trying to flee her consequences, not wanting to face legal issues, legal charges for something she did. But she will be, he will be whoever this is. This could be a, a, a masculine energy in his feminine energy. This could be a feminine energy that's been doing all of this chaos behind the scenes, trying to now run. Someone is in a hurry to leave. Where are you going to, my darling? You are in a globe. It's a circle. <laughs> it's a circle. The universe sees everything. Where will you run? Everything we do is being recorded and sent back to source. So before you even do anything, it's already known. You cannot hide it. You are under 24-7, 24 24-hour surveillance. And the fact that that word is even coming out means that these people have been watching you in some way, shape, or form. Maybe they have cameras in your walls, watching you on social media, violating your privacy. Someone is facing legal consequences for that, and now they want to run. Where will you run to? We want to know if you know of a special place in creation where the universe, where source cannot find you. Let us know. Let us know, my darling. We want to know the 411. We want to know the T. Okay. Tried to steal from you. Now they cannot, I'm telling you, <laughs> you are a star, see? You are the truth. You are healing people unintentionally. Some of these people are watching you and they are healing because you stood your ground. They've never met anyone like you. They've been able to take other people down before you. But for some reason, they cannot take you down. And this is the reason why they cannot take you down. Source Fs with you. You are part of all that is and will ever be. Someone went to a water deity, is what I just heard, to make some type of sacrifice. They wanted a water deity to do something to you. That water deity looked at them like they had lost their mind. They said, excuse me, you want me to take out one of my kind? What is wrong with you? Someone didn't know how far back you go, honey, your bloodline. It's like they went to your ancestors to have your ancestors take you out. Your ancestor looked at them like, look at this fool. You really don't know what you're doing, do you? Like you came to me to ask me to take down one of my family members. You be asking me. Where do they do that at? I kid you not. I had a dream. Someone went to a water deity. Someone was summoning a water deity to do someone something to lag over someone and that water deity when it realized the energy that they were being sent to attack it instantly felt the familiarity and it was that oh no this is one of my king folk absolutely not that offering was rejected and so someone lost a battle against you Look, when I got up from that dream, I said, oh, someone is very determined to take someone else down. We're going to water deities now. 
that we're summoning deities. And this person had been planning this for a while because a month before I had that dream, I saw a water deity being summoned out of the ocean. Like there was a whirlpool spinning and this immaculate being came out of the water. And I said, something is going on, but it will be exposed, illuminated at the right time. And then about a month later, I goes to sleep. And, you know, someone goes to the water to go ask a water deity to do something, to do someone something. And I said, oh, okay. So this is how we're moving. But you don't know who you're coming after. You're coming after someone that's connected to all that is and will ever be. So it doesn't matter what deity you go to. They know this person. They're connected to this person. So you look foolish every time. Whether you go to water deities, the sky deities, uh, nature spirits, any of them. They are connected to this person. They are not going to do anything on your behalf. That should let you know where you fall in the pulling tool. In the, I don't even know what to say anymore. The pulling, the pulling tool, whatever they call it, on the pyramid, where you fall on the pyramid. You're giving first level. So, that's that. Starcy, you're stealing on the karma waters. Why these people are living in their chaos. <laughs> but honey, I can't make it up. While these people are living in their chaos, having nightmares, anxiety, regrets about actions they took against you. I just saw the emperor card out here with that ten of swords. That means that there is an emperor out here that partook in something to block your resources, block your opportunity from being given to you. And now he's living in remorse. Living in regret. Someone may want to make things right with you. Darcy. They may want to give to you. They did something in the past. Someone expect, accepted some type of bribery to cause you an ending. And now they're having some type of regrets about it. Lord have mercy. Yeah. There, either there's a plan or there was a plan. He's planning to make things right. Someone is healing. This emperor is going through healing. He's going through some type of healing. Yeah. He's going through healing. Absolutely. Someone is going through healing. Before they can come towards you. Okay, someone knows that you are connected to all that is and will ever be. And they are living in regret for actions they took against you. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Someone is healing from addiction. Someone may drink a lot, overindulge. Someone may be trapped in something they cannot get out of. Someone has a lot of additions they're dealing with, but they're going through healing. Judgment has been called on a couple, is what I just heard. Every action they took against you is being accounted for. Endings, endings, endings. Karma, karma, karma is what I keep hearing. Oh my gosh, honey, I cannot make it up. Their secrets are being exposed. Everything they were doing in the dark is being exposed. Endings. They're getting a taste of their own medicine. This, this couple is like they're sitting and just waiting to see what's going to happen because they know London Bridge is about to fall down. London Bridge is falling down. And they know they deserve every bit of it, but they're going to be living in denial. It's over for these people. It is absolutely over for these people. I'm going to leave it here. I will see you in my next read. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.